Plus, Janet Hall signs off for the last time after 40 years at WBRC. Next at 6, we say thank you and take a look back at her remarkable career. Live from WBRC Fox 6 News, this is 6 on your side. Janet, thank you for sharing your talents and for being a trustworthy and reliable news source to many Alabamians for many years. I am grateful that you chose to grow your career in your home state. Congratulations on your retirement. The best is yet to come. Good morning, Janet. This is Fire Chief Woon. On behalf of Birmingham Fire and Rescue, we'd like to present you with this token of our appreciation for everything you've done for the Birmingham Fire Rescue Service family over the years. Enjoy your retirement. And this is what he's talking about, Janet. We cannot thank yeah. those guys enough. They brought two fire trucks up with the braid huge. and this, this great hat. This. I'm gonna have helmet. I'm going to wear this all over town. <laughs> you know, maybe get, get a little siren on top. That'd be great. Thank you, Chief Moon. Thank you, uh, all of you uh, first responders and firefighters. You do such a fantastic job. And I'm very proud of this. I'll find a, a good spot to put that. Lots of things with the office piling yes. up. Let's take yes. a look at some memories first. <laughs> I am from Birmingham. I was born and raised here. I went to Barry High School, went to the University of Alabama. After graduating from the University of Alabama, Janet Hall began her career at WKRG, a CBS affiliate in Mobile, Alabama. In 1979, the strongest hurricane ever to hit Alabama was Hurricane Frederick. Janet covered the storm and the aftermath. Reporter Janet Hall and photographer Alan Hans spent the morning in a Coast Guard helicopter surveying all of the damage from the air, and I understand it was really quite a sight. Bob, it, it was. I never... Hurricane hit, and I said, I'm going inland, and had an opportunity to come back to Birmingham as the weekend anchor. In 1980... WBRC Channel 6 hired Janet as a reporter. Wallace is expected to come in any moment. And weekend anchor. I'm Janet Hall, a strip mining contractor. In 1985, Janet got her big break. She moved from weekends to weeknights and co-anchored the evening news with Scott Richards. In the 90s, Janet had her own 30-minute show, Janet Hall's Spotlight, which gave viewers a behind-the-scenes look at some local celebrities. It's sort of hard to come by. Hey, it wins the turkey, <laughs> huh? Throughout Janet's 40-year career, she has won numerous awards. Best Feature, Best Anchor, Extraordinary Coverage of a Planned Event, Best Documentary, the International Accolade Award of Excellence, the Silver Circle Award, and Best in Broadcasting. And Janet has been recognized by several organizations for her work in the community. Janet Hall's professional career has touched so many over the years. But what about her personal life? In 1981, Frank O'Neill was hired to produce WBRC's weeknight 10 p.m. show. With Janet working weekends and three days during the week, their schedules only allowed for an occasional conversation. One day, one of those conversations went like this. So that day, it was my birthday, and I had said something, I oh, it's my birthday, and he said, hey, come back after the 10 o'clock newscast and we'll all go out and, you know, have drinks. Well, I said, sure, and I came back, and he was the only one who was so here. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so we went out, and, you know, that, that night was when things changed. And as Frank tells it, they had their first kiss that night under the WBRC neon sign behind the TV station. Frank and Janet were married two years later. Today, Frank and Janet are proud parents of their two grown children, Allie and Jack. Now that Janet is retiring, she has no plans to slow down. I would love to throw myself into songwriting seriously. It's always been something that's been a sort of a, a hobby and a sideline. Um, travel is something me and my husband both want to do. Certainly, I, I want to stay involved in the community. Janet. As you leave, we want to thank you for your 40 years of tireless service to the community and to the WBRC Fox 6 News team. We celebrate the legacy of hard work and dedication you leave behind. And so I get the opportunity to say thanks on behalf of our viewers and our coworkers. <laughs> and I said I wasn't going to do this, but 
partner, it has been an honor to share this desk with you for the past six years. Of course, our good friend Scott Richards was in this chair for 34 of them, um, and that was a partnership that has been a legacy here and one that we can only hope to continue. So when I got this job, I've talked about this on social today, you were such a support and encouragement and really paved the way for that, and it has been my honor to share this desk with you for six years. Um, good co-anchors develop an unspoken a language for breaking news <laughs> for times like this when we have to step in for each other. <laughs> um, and we are able to communicate in ways that are unspoken and that's only developed over time and I think we have been able to do that and I'm so glad for that and so honored by that. Um, you have, you are as big a part of this station as that red sign out there which we should tell our viewers by the way today we mm -hmm. announced that Janet's <laughs> name will be placed at the bottom of that sign and as I said we will always leave those lights on for you. I told you to say something funny. Okay, then let's show viewers what you gave me. Let's, let's make her laugh. This is what, this is our relationship, right? We cry, and then on her retirement, she gives me this, this sign, which everybody has laughed at today, and I'm not sure why, but that is the, the, what will be on my desk now. You have a great talent to roll your eyes. And you have a great talent to make me, so I, I, have I appreciate that. For you. Thank you. I have, your, I have a whole pack here. Um, it's all yours. Well, uh, so much, so many wonderful things. Um, today it has been a great day, and I thank everybody who has worked so hard on that. I do want to take just a moment to just thank you, the viewers out there. You folks have been watching me uh, for 40 years. You've seen me grow up. I mean, I started as a 20-something a who really didn't know what she was doing, and now here I am, a 60-something, and I'm still trying to figure it out, I think. Thank you. Um, for watching all those years. I simply would not be here right now if you had not watched. And I thank you for inviting me into your homes. I thank you for sharing your stories. Uh, it is an absolute privilege to tell your stories. I feel that as a journalist. Um, it's a privilege to tell your stories. It's also a privilege to work with such a wonderful team of people over the years i have been blessed with a fantastic team you know it takes so many people i mean there's the producers the reporters the photographers the editors the directors the managers the technicians i can go on and on it takes a village to make an anchor look good <laughs> and i love my village i really do um, some of my deepest friendships have been made in our newsroom. And, um, you know, well, I've married one of them. <laughs> so, that would be the deepest, yeah. that, that would be one. Um, my Supper Club girls, you know who you are. So many great friends, so many uh, fantastic co-anchors. You mentioned Scott. Um, just so many people over the years that I have been... Um, privilege to work beside my current co-anchors, Sarah, Steve, Jonathan, you. I couldn't be prouder of what we have accomplished here um, over, over the years. And, um, and we've also managed to have a little fun along the way. And I'm telling you folks, if you had any idea what we talk about <laughs> during the commercials, there may be a book coming out somewhere. I have a few hidden recordings, by the way. But anyway, uh, uh, Jonathan, I am so proud to end my career with you by my side. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you. That's all. All right, that's class personified. That's 40 years of excellence. And we say thanks. Thank you. Love you all. <laughs>